All right, hello and welcome back to my Hotline Miami in Unity tutorial. And today I'm going to be, it's a quick one actually, I'm going to show you improved doors. I mean, who doesn't love improved doors, right? Look, see, no glitchiness whatsoever. Look, if you can get behind them. Uh, yep, so like that, and that, kill you, and all the way around again. They're not as elastic -y as a... Uh, Hotline Miami's doors, but they're also less glitchy than hinge joints, so I'm considering this a win in terms of door goodness. And that door just doesn't want to knock him down, but it did work, you saw it before. And yeah. Okay, that one's a bit broken. Yeah, it does work. I'll show you. Alright, so I'll just take this door out because it works, so. All right, so a bit of it's going to be uh, explaining how the docking thing works, but whatever. Okay, so first off, we have a parent game object, which is just a blank, empty one that controls, like, holds all the child objects, which is the door. We've got uh, two normal box colliders with a rigid bodies that are kinematic. These are just like the upper limits, the limits of the door. So say it'll reach a point. I know I can't do it there because I forgot there was colliders there, but well done. I'll just have to move you, move you. All right, now see how it moves, and it won't move any further. It just like things off that. That is just there are two of them just to stop it like rotating three sixty. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, which is just done by the box collider. There's a custom door script, which has door movement script, which I will show you now. It basically just has a box collider, rigid body, and the sprite of the door, which is at 10, so the player looks like he's under it. Uh, well, the lay is 10, that's one. So we've got the separate door. All right, so on the, we've got the start rotate. All right, so on the door movement script, we've got four values, we've got a timer, which is just for moving, rotating the door. Uh, we've got a modify uh, mod. What was that for? That's just how uh, much we modify the rotation by each time the timer reaches zero. We've got a ball being opened. And let's get rid of those because we're not using it anymore. And that's it, pretty much. So we've got. It just gets a start rotation, which is the either 90 or 0 ish. And we've got two methods rotate clockwise, which rotates it clockwise, and rotates anti clockwise, which does the opposite. And it's like the timer counts down, reaches 0, rotates it slightly, moves on. Uh, now, if I show you these, the rotate clockwise and anti clockwise are triggered by two colliders which are used as triggers as you can see here which is clockwise and anti-clockwise as you can see these are on the side of the door and the hinge is here so that's where the point where it rotates as we've set on the sprite uh, no if i can read all right so if you look in the sprite editor the that is the uh, point of rotation and I've uh, not deleted something. I've got to save that because I deleted it. Okay. So, yeah. So, that, as we saw in the sprite editor, is where it rotates, the point it rotates around, which you can just literally just drag and drop where you want it to rotate. So, see? Look there. That. That. I don't want to do that. I don't want to change that, actually. Uh, basically, the Scripts for the triggers are identical, really. So on trigger enter, so if this one checks if a player, if an enemy has hit the, the collided with the triggered uh, one of these, and the player is within range, within one point one units of the door, then it's going to assume that it's going to knock down the enemy. So it doesn't have that door script, actually. I lied, but oh well. Uh, it'll just knock down the enemy and they'll get up. And basically, on trigger stay, it'll rotate the door clock, uh, either clockwise or anti-clockwise in the other script. That's the only difference. And change the modification to three. 
and on trigger exit it just changes it back to one. So that's pretty much it. I'm not sure why I've done that. Oh, well, it works, all right. So don't question me. Uh, so it's a door movement script that it gets off the parent. So you have to get component in parent this time, not just normal get component, and has player stored. Other game objects is player. No, no, no. I'm just touching it now. Oh yeah, so okay, that's the doors. I don't think we use this actually. No, we don't use that. Ignore that, all these, because these are just the previous attempt I tried to do, but, and it didn't work. So does that come up with any errors? No, good. All right, so here's the final scripts. Door movement, start rotation. Uh, you can read that all yourself, and copy it down if you want. Basically, did you rotate the script, the door either way, and on a timer. These just check this bit checks whether an enemy has collided and the player is near enough to knock them down. This just starts rotating it when it the trigger stays when the player is continuously colliding with the trigger, and on the exit it'll say the door is not being open, so it'll stop calling it. And the same for here, but uh, the rotate anti-clockwise method is called rather than the rotate clockwise, which are the two here. And one last look at the door. So we've got the parent game object, we've got the two limits, which are just box colliders with canonatic rigid bodies. We've got the, this is the door, but the door has its own separate children, which are the two triggers for rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise, which are both triggers with rigid bodies and the two uh, relevant scripts for rotation, calling the rotation. And the parent custom door objects, but not the like the child parent custom door with the sprite renderer has the door movement script and then these are like grandchildren objects of the whole container. So yeah, that was a convoluted mess of a door, but I hope you can get what I was going for. If you've got questions, ask in the description description comments that's one so like comment subscribe go play loud or quiet links in the description and just watching bye